Hello everyone. Uh, this is Lightus Nebula 9 once again. And I'm doing a video right now of a uh, piece of AR500 steel. And um, <clears throat> my test for today is is uh, how to stop spalling. Now spalling is where um, the projectile hits the metal plate and the metal plate defeats the metal projectile. I'm sorry, the projectile, be full metal jacket, lead, you know, whatever the projectile is. The metal plate will defeat that round and the projectile is then turned into hundreds if thousands of small fragments of it, shrapnel. Now, a lot of people that are buying AR-500 steel plates to wear for body armor, they're trying to find ways to uh, not only defeat the projectile being used against them, but also to defeat the uh, spalling of that projectile. And uh, what I'm going to do today is, is uh, shoot this piece of AR-500 steel with a 55 grain full metal jacket uh, M193 with my uh, 14 and a half inch registered SBR AR platform. Now, my first shot, I'm going to shoot the steel plate or the piece of steel right above where you see the duct tape on there. Uh, the duct tape is holding the uh, experiment experimental material that I'm using right now. The first shot's going to hit right above the duct tape to show what it does when it hits the steel plate and the round is defeated. The uh, second shot will be the uh, same round or same type of round hitting the uh, what this is. Now let me zoom out. Get too far in. I have a uh, piece in my hand that's a quarter inch thick hard rubber it uh, has a rating of 60 I believe it is and uh, what I did was glue um, you can glue this onto the metal plate that you're using but what I did I uh, duct taped it onto this one as tight as I could just to uh, do the experiment now the cardboard box is to show the spalling of the round uh, with and without. Uh, here we go. This is first round of the uh, 55 grain full mail jacket M193. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright, that first round uh, hit the edge of the AR-500 steel and you can see the holes in the box of where it um, pieces of that round just hit all over. Second shot is going to be the, uh, the rubber covering it. Check it out. Alright. 
I'm going to have to do a second, or actually a third shot, the uh, second one glance just off the side of the rubber there and just took a nick out of the very edge of the AR500 because I hit right on the edge. We're going to have to do another one. As you can tell, the uh, it, no spawn behind that steel. It was stopped, and the uh, spawning from the uh, the projectile was held in by the hard rubber. There was no escapes on any parts of it. And um, for you that own AR500 steel plates and plan on wearing it, I strongly suggest you get this uh, quarter inch hard rubber and glue it on, tape it on if you have to. Just put that on and um, it will uh, stop the spalling from turning into shrapnel and injuring you on just a regular bare plate. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, anything at all, please do. And I'll reply with any answers. And thank you very much and have a great day.